Hi everybody, it's Richard here again and welcome to part 19 of where I show all my vinyl albums. Now we're still in the miscellaneous section but after today's video there will only be one more and then I will be going into the female artist section. So we're at STY at the moment and first album up is the Style Council and it is the mini album that wasn't released in the UK. I think this is a Dutch release in 1983 and you get Long Hot Summer, Head Start for Happiness, Speak Like a Child and The Paris Match, Money Go Round and a couple of other mixes. And then we have Café Bleu from 1984 which is a pretty good album with um, The Paris Match again, You're the Best Thing, uh, My Ever Changing Moods which is not the single version, I actually prefer the single version. Here's one that got away, Head Start for Happiness, it's, it's a decent album. And then we have the number one hit, Our Favourite Shop, with Walls Come Tumbling Down, The Lodgers, Come to Milton Keynes, Boy Who Cried Wolf, and A Man of Great Promise, which is one of the best songs of it. And then we have The Cost of Loving from 1986, which is not very good. It's got, it didn't matter on it, and waiting, uh, Heavens Above, no, I just don't like it, never have. This is probably their best album, Confessions of a Pop Group. And it's got Life at the Top People's Health Farm, Why I Went Missing, How She Threw It All Away. Um, the one song I don't like was I Was a Dole, Daddy's Toy Boy, which is absolute rubbish. Side one is like piano uh, tunes and side two is pop stuff, but it's a good album. The Singular Adventures of the Style Council, which is good, but there's some remixes on this I would have rather have had the original single versions. This one here is very good. It's the story of the Style Council Long Hot Summers. It's a three LP set and you could argue this is all you need for the Style Council. It's a really good compilation. And then we have the best of the stylistics, which is a charity shop album, but it's a good album. You got you make me feel brand new. Bet you by Golly Wow and um, you're a big girl now, you're everything, stop look, listen to your heart, uh, let's put it all together, it's a decent album. And then we have Supergrass which is a double compilation, I think this one is called The Strange Ones, uh, 1994 to 2008, and it's basically uh, the singles, and maybe a couple of LP tracks in there as well, but it's a very very good album, it's all I need is Supergrass. Super Trump and Crime of the Century and yeah this is not a bad album that I really do like the song Dreamer uh, before I bought this that was the only song I actually knew of it but uh, it's not bad I think this one's better though and it is Breakfast in America which is very good and I can't read this but this is one with the logical song on it and it's raining I think I can't read it but yeah very good album but I suppose this is really the one I need and that's the autobiography of Supergrass and it's just basically a greatest hits. Swing Out Sister is Better to Travel with the hit single uh, Breakout that was a, a pound buy. Right into Talking Heads now, Talking Heads 77 with uh, Psycho Killer uh, Pulled Up, uh, the book I read, very good album. And this is more songs about buildings and food. Uh, yeah, this is very good as well. This is the one with uh, I'm Not In Love. Um, Thank You For Sending Me An Angel, I think it's brilliant. Um, Take Me To The River was, I think, the big hit off this. Find A Job is one of our famous ones. The name of this band is Talking Heads. Uh, it's a double live album. Uh, the first album is very early Talking Heads. I think the next one's from around 1981 or so. Fear of Music. And this is often regarded as their best album. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's got Eyes in on it. Um, Cities, Heaven, which is a great track. Animals is the one I'm not that keen on. Uh, Remain in Light with uh, the big hit um, Once in a Lifetime. And other tracks like The Great Curve. Uh, cross-eyed and painless. It's, it's a good album. And then we have from 80, 
three, I think. And this is um, speaking in tongues with uh, girlfriend is better burned down the house and the brilliant slippery people. This is their best album. It's the live one. Stop making sense. Psycho killer swamp slippery people burn down the house. Girlfriend is better. Once in a lifetime. What a day that was. Life during war time. What a fantastic song. And take me to the river. Now this was um, issued expanded on CD. I think it's now available as an expanded uh, two LP set. But it is so expensive. I'm not buying it. Uh, Little Creatures with uh, As She Was and Road to Nowhere. And this one is True Stories. And yeah, this is a good album as well. This is the one with um, Wild Wild Life on it. And Naked, which is not a bad album. It took me a while to get used to this, but Nothing But Flowers is an absolutely brilliant song. Tears for Fears, The Hurting with Mad World, Change and Peel Shelter. 10CC's debut with Rubber Bullets, Donna and The Dean and I. Very, very good album. As is Sheet Music with uh, Wall Street Shuffle, A Silly Love, uh, The Sacro Iliac, which I think is really good, and Clockwork Creep, which is really weird, but I really like that song. The original soundtrack and this is the one with I'm not in love on it and it's okay. How dare you and this is art for art's sake on it. Again it's not a bad album. Uh, live and Let Live and this is just a double live album which I got from my brother and I've never actually played it. Bloody Tourists and this is the one with uh, Dreadlock Holy on and that's about it. The rest of it's pretty rubbish. Great Sits. Uh, yeah, probably the best of the whole lot. And this one's a little out of order actually. It should have been shown this before. Deceptive Bends. And this is the one with Good Morning Judge. Uh, People in Love which failed to chart actually. And uh, the other big one was Things We Do For Love. It's not a great album. Changing Face is the best of Godly and Cream and 10cc. It's a very, very good album. Some really good Godly and Cream songs on it. Temple Tudor, and this is their debut album. Uh, Eddie, Old Bob, Dick and Gary, and this is on the Swords of a Thousand Men on it, and Wunderbar. Let the Four Winds Blow, Temple Tudor, and this is the one with ba uh, Throw My Baby Out with the Bathwater, as well as Title Track. It's also a very good album. Those two are really, really good fun. Texas, Southside, and this is the one with I Don't Want to Be a Lover on it. Again, it's not a bad album. Texas again, Say What You Want, The Collection. And this is a recent comp, which is very good, although there's a couple of live tracks on it, which I wish they had the studio versions. This is That Petrol Emotion and Babel. Uh, this is not a bad album, and the, the one I really like off this is if I can find it here. Um, Big Decision, very good song. They were the undertones, or the two of New Brothers. And then we have Black Rose by Finn Lizzy. And this is the one with uh, Do Anything You Want To, Sarah and Waiting on an Alibi. It's a good album actually. Finn Lizzy again, the very best of Dedication. Got this one that came out in about 1990. Whiskey in the Jar, The Rocker Jailbreak, The Boys Are Back in Town, Don't Believe a Word, Dancing in the Moonlight, Rosalie Cowgirl Song, very, very good. Richard and Linda Thompson, and Shoot Out the Light. Um, I played this a couple of times, and it was actually alright. I actually preferred her song so, to his, but I must give this another go. I forgot I had it, actually. The Thompson Twins, Quick Step and Sidekick, and this has got Love on Your Side on it and Lies, and We Are Detective. Thompson Twins again, and Into the Gap, and this is the one with Hold Me Now, uh, You Take Me Up, and Doctor Doctor. 
um, the three o'clock which I bought uh, from Discogs uh, everyone was talking about the three o'clock and this was really cheap bought it played it wasn't impressed at all sorry and then we have Bush Doctor by Peter Tosh and this is the one with Mick Jagger on uh, Don't Look Back I think you call it but uh, it's, a, it's a good reggae album I actually enjoyed that one The Tourists on their debut album very good Blind Among the Flowers and the other uh, single was The Loneliest Man in the World and The Tourists again with Reality Effect and this is the one with um, I Only Want to Be With You and uh, So Good To Be Back Home Again I absolutely love that track Tourists again with Luminous Basement and Don't Say I Told You So was the only single off that Transvision Vamp and Pop Art with Revolution Baby I Want Your Love A Sister Moon and Tell That Girl To Shut Up it's a good album Transvision Vamp again with Velveteen and uh, Baby I Don't Care the only one Last Light of Love and the other single was Born To Be Sold it's a good album as well actually and the third one is actually a good album although I didn't like it at the time and this is Little Magnets vs The Bubble of Babel and this is the one with um, I Only Want to Be With You or I Just Want to Be With You uh, and The Flux Could Kill it's a good album there's a good version of Bob Dylan's Can You Please Call Out My Window or whatever it's called on that Traveling Wilburys Volume 1 yeah great Handle With Care End of the Line Tweeter and the Monkey Man I'm not alone anymore. Last night, brilliant album. Although I did get a little bit fed up with it. This one was disappointing at the start. This is uh, volume three, but this has grown on me. She's my baby is a great song. I've always loved the devil's been busy, but my favourite track off this is uh, Poor House. I think that's Jeff and Tom. The Golden Hits of the Trogs is absolute rubbish. It's a live recording from the early eighties. Um, didn't realise that when I bought it. You too, and boy, with I will follow, out of control. Yeah, good album. You too, October, with fire and Gloria. Again, a good album. The best album is War, with uh, Two Hearts Beat as One, New Year's Day, and the brilliant Refugee and um, Seconds, another great song, and of course Sunday Bloody Sunday. You too, The Unforgettable Fire with the title track, and Pride in the Name of Love, and Bad as well. It's a decent album. And then the biggie is The Joshua Tree, which you know all the songs off this. I still haven't found what I'm looking for, for the streets have no name, with or without you, in God's country. Very good. And you two again with Achtung Baby, which is their best album of post 80s, put it that way. Who's Gonna Ride Your Wild Horses, The Fly, very, very good album. Enjoy that. One, of course. UB40 and Signing Off. Uh, it's got Food for Thought on it, and I think it's going to rain today in King. Great album. UB40, a singles album which has got those three songs as well with My Way of Thinking, Dream of Lie, uh, The Earth Day Screaming, very good. And then we have Present Arms with the great title track 1 and 10, Don't Slow Down and Don't Let It Pass You By from 1981. UB44 and this is the one with So Here I Am, Love Is All Is Alright and I Won't Close My Eyes. Then we have UB40 Live, which is actually not a bad album. It's got Food for Thought, Tyler, Don't Slow Down, Present Arms, Bird and the Shame, 1 in 10, Love Is All Is Alright. It's, it's decent, 1982. And then UB40 uh, Labour of Love, which was a massive album with Red Red Wine. Uh, Please Don't Make Me Cry, Many Rivers to Cross, and Cheerio Baby. Not as successful was Jeffrey Morgan with If It Happens Again and Riddle Me and The Pillow. It's still not a bad album actually. And then Bagger Adim, which is really all sort of dub stuff with an extra disc which gives you Don't Break My Heart 
and I got you babe uh, that's alright, it's not brilliant Rat in the Kitchen which is very good from 86 with the title track All I Want To Do and Sing Our Own Song which I think is a fantastic song The Best Of You Be 40 another very very good album with all the singles but the one um, was released alongside this was Maybe Tomorrow which I've always loved UB40 from 1988 and this is the one with Breakfast in Bed on it, uh, Dance with the Devil, Come Out to Play and um, I Would Do For You, it's a good album and then we go on to UB40, uh, Labour of Love 2 which had a million singles off it the highlights being Here I Am, Come and Take Me, uh, Kingston Town and uh, Tears of My Eyes I think is very good, Where You To The Ball Hold Me Girl, it's a good album. Ultravox, Vienna, with Vienna and uh, Passing Strangers, uh, Sleepwalk and All Stood Still, very good album. This is Rage and Eden, possibly my favourite, and this has got the voice on it and the brilliant The Thin Wall. Quartet. And this is the one with Reap the Wild Wind, Him, uh, Visions in Blue, uh, We Came to Dance uh, too is a very good album. And then we have from 1984, Lament, which has got Dancing with Tears in My Eyes and the title track is a decent album. And one more opera box is The Collection, which I think is absolutely brilliant. There's um, 14 songs. 14 singles, really really good and we'll finish today with a mid your album and this is The Gift and this is the one with the big hit single If I Was, which is good ok so that's um, S-T-Y to, well it's actually U-L so the last of all the miscellaneous will be in the next video, I hope you enjoyed that and I hope to see you quite soon, all the best now, bye bye